It's easy to overlook the millions of people that love you for who you are when you're different. The only person you notice is the one who isn't paying attention. You can be the most beautiful person on the earth, and everyone who looks at you sees light and rainbows, but none of that counts if you are unaware of it. Every second you spent doubting your own worth, condemning yourself, is a second of your life wasted, a moment of your life lost. Don't waste any of your seconds or minutes, because you don't have an endless quantity of time, dare to admire yourself in the same way that a rainbow with gold on both ends does. As I learned to love myself, I realized that grief and emotional anguish were simply warning signs that I was living against my own truth. As far as I'm aware, today's buzzword is truthfulness. As I grew to love myself, I saw how much I might offend someone if I tried to force my desires on them, even though I knew the time wasn't right and the person wasn't ready, and this person was me. It's now known to me as respect. As I came to appreciate myself and recognize that everything around me was inspiring me to improve, I ceased yearning for a new existence. Today, I refer to it as character strength. I noticed that as I learned to love myself, I was always in the right place at the right moment, and everything happened at the perfect time. I was able to maintain my cool as a result. It's now known to me as soul. As I began to value myself, I stopped taking my time and stopped planning huge chores for the future. Today, I only do things that make me happy and offer me joy, things that I enjoy and that make my heart sing, and I do them at my own pace. It's now known to me as clarity. I was able to let go of everything that was affecting my health as I learned to love myself, food, people, things, situations, and anything else that drew me down and away from myself. This worldview was formerly referred to as healthy egoism. Today, I think of it as self-love. I stopped striving to be right all of the time as I learned to love myself, and I've been wrong a lot less since then. That is, humility, as I discovered today. I refused to continue living in the past and worried about the future as I grew to appreciate myself. Now, all I care about is the present now, where everything is happening. Today, I call it, enlightenment, since I live each day, day by day. When I started to appreciate myself, I realized that my mind could bother me and even make me sick. My mind, on the other hand, became a valuable ally once I connected it to my heart. This relationship is now known as, knowledge of the soul. We no longer have to fear arguments, confrontations, or other forms of conflict with ourselves or others. Even stars collide, resulting in the formation of new worlds. I've come to realize that this is life. You'll find that a little loneliness goes a long way toward creating a richer, deeper, more vibrant, and colorful you if you learn to sit with loneliness and appreciate it for what it is, an opportunity to get to know yourself, to discover how strong you are, to rely on no one but yourself for happiness. Who lives on the interior of your body? Others have been given permission to interact with the outside. This is a decision that should be made only by you. To be in love with oneself.